Hey everyone, Chris here from IELTS Advantage and in today's lesson we're going to look at IELTS preparation. How to get the score that you need in the fastest possible time. Everybody wants a certain IELTS score and nobody has time these days. So what we're going to show you in this video is how to avoid spending a lot of time failing the test over and over and over again and get the score that you need in the shortest possible amount of time. So if we look here, this is most students, all right? Most students doing the test are sad because they try and do the test and fail, and then they fail again, and then they fail again, and then they fail again, and then they fail again. And let's say that this is over like a, like a six month period, which takes you know, extremely long time just failing over and over and over and over again. But what we do with our students is we show them exactly what to do and then they get the score next time. So why are our students getting the score that they need and most students are failing continuously? That's what we're going to show you in this lesson. So we're going to show you how to avoid these things and get the score that you need in record time. So let's have a little look at number one. So most students, why they fail the first time is they rely on tips and tricks and shortcuts. Now, if tips and tricks and shortcuts worked, then I would just give you tips and tricks and shortcuts. That's what I would give to my students. Unfortunately, they don't work. The students who get the score that they need first time, they do something called deep learning. They learn things properly. They're not looking for shortcuts and hacks and tips. They actually look at things in detail and learn them properly because you can't cheat the test with these tips and tricks. Let me show you an example. Let's say that somebody wants to improve their vocabulary. Well, if you go onto YouTube, the most popular video on IELTS vocabulary teaches you five words that will get you a band nine. Now, this video is nonsense. It is designed to get clicks. It is designed to get subscribers. It's to improve somebody's YouTube channel. They don't care about your score. There is no way that you can learn five words and then get a band nine. It's just nonsense. What our students would do is we would learn 10 words a day by reading every single day, reading English every day, and then noting down new words and all the information that they need to remember them and use them in the test, and then reviewing them regularly. So this requires five minutes, and this requires probably 30 minutes a day for a couple of months. But this works. This is going to get you the score that you need. This is going to cause you to fail and will end up taking a lot longer because as we've seen before, most students take months and months and months and months because they fail over and over and over again. And the second reason is the students who fail are the ones that do things like, I'm going to follow a general course or I'm going to learn some structures or read lots of band nine essays. So why are you going to a general course when you are an individual? You have individual strengths and weaknesses. Why are you going to a course that is teaching you about listening and reading when you've no problems with listening and reading? Learn some structures. Structures are important. We teach our students structures, but they are a tiny percentage of your overall mark. And just relying on structures doesn't teach you anything about vocabulary, which is 25%, grammar, which is 25%, coherence and cohesion, task achievement. These things that actually matter doesn't teach you anything about those things or just reading lots of band nine essays. I can't watch Ronaldo and Messi play football and then become a better footballer. You can't read lots of band nine essays and then magically be able to write in the real test. It's just not going to happen. Whereas our students, what they would do is find out the exact reasons why I'm not at my required level yet and focus solely on those areas. For most of you, the reason why you are failing is just maybe a small handful of areas, maybe three or four things that you need to work on. And until you fix those things by getting feedback on your work and understanding what those things are, nothing else is going to help you. So getting the help that you need and getting the feedback on your writing, on your speaking, your reading, your listening, and then just like taking your car to a mechanic or going to a doctor when you feel ill, they are going to fix the exact thing that's wrong with you, not give you a general course. 
The next thing that these students don't do, or what they do is, they rely on the wrong sources of information. So they ask other students to help them with their work. They look at YouTube and they look for the cheapest teachers that they can find. So other students, would you go into a hospital and ask the sick people in the hospital to treat you? No. So why are you asking people who have got 5.5, 6, 6.5 to tell you whether your essay is a band 8 or a band 9 level? That's just not going to work. Or going onto YouTube, look at the most popular YouTube videos for IELTS. They're teaching you tips and tricks and hacks, things that you want to hear, things that are popular, but not things that actually get you the score that you need. And finding the cheapest teacher that you can find, uh, try and buy the cheapest house you can find or the cheapest car you can find or the cheapest pair of shoes that you can find. Is that going to be a good product or service? You know that yourself, what the answer is. Students who get the score that they need in the fastest possible time, they're looking at the official marking criteria. So we released a, a video recently where we were doing a mock speaking test with a student and people were criticizing the student based on things that they had heard from other students and seen on YouTube channels. And my response was always, well, where does it say anything about that in the official marking criteria? That is what the examiners are using to assess your speaking, to assess your writing. So you need to know those inside out. And a teacher with a long track record of helping people get high scores. You should be asking your teachers, you should be asking your schools, what are your, your past results like? Can we see some success stories? If they give you a bad answer to that question, then you shouldn't really go with them because again, it's going to cause you to fail. These students, they rely on hope and luck. I hope that I get the score next time. That's not going to help you. Maybe I'll be lucky next time. You won't. Whereas students who don't believe in hope and luck get the score that they need in the fastest possible time. They get feedback on their work to understand what their strengths and weaknesses are. And then they take action to turn those weaknesses into strengths to get to the score that they need. And those are the students that get the score they need in the fastest possible time. So again, if you're trying tips and tricks and relying on unreliable information and hoping that you'll be lucky next time, you're just going to fail over and over and over and over again. And it's going to take you an incredibly long time. Whereas our students get the score that they need the next time they do the test because they prepare properly. So by doing things properly, you are accelerating your preparation time. So just to summarize, if you want to get the score that you need in the fastest possible time, avoid shortcuts, avoid tips and tricks and hacks and all of those things. Ask yourself, what is my current level? Where am I right now? What are the exact reasons why I'm at that level? So if you're at 6.5 for writing, instead of doing the test over and over and over and over again, or trying some you know, YouTube video that teaches you the secrets to getting a band nine or some nonsense like that, just show it to someone who knows what they're talking about and they will tell you the exact reasons why you're not getting the score that you need. Number three, what do I need to do to move to the next level? So if somebody tells you, you need to work on A, B and C, work on A, B and C. A good teacher should be able to teach you that. It is not that complicated. It's really, really simple once you know how. Number four, make a plan of action. Get your calendar out or get it on, on your iPad or whatever it is and just divide it into squares for each day and put the things that you need to do and do them. And that's the point number five, take action, actually do the things. People who rely on things like shortcuts and hope and luck, the reason they fail is they take no action. And number six, do the test when you're ready. Don't book the test until you know you're ready to do the test. You're not going to get lucky next time. But many of you will be thinking right now, but getting a good teacher is so expensive and I can't afford that. I totally disagree with that. And not because I'm a teacher, not because I want your money. Not getting a teacher is truly expensive. It is really, really expensive. Let me convince you of that. So this student, let's say they spend $50 on a really, really cheap teacher, a cheap course, and their test fee is like $200 and travel fees, 
say they, they spend about $300 each time they fail the test. This is not unusual for someone to spend over $1,000. Some students spend thousands and thousands of dollars failing the test over and over and over again. So going for that, you know, scam YouTube video or scam school or cheap teacher is costing you a huge amount of money. Whereas let's say this student, instead of wasting all of this money, they invested it in a good teacher or a good school, and let's say they are down $1,000, but they end up going to Canada or Australia or America and they get a job like at $50,000 or something like that. They are up $49,000. That's the way you have to think about it because the people who are thinking this way and they don't understand the cost of free and the cost of cheap and the cost of believing in things that don't actually help them. Whereas our students, they invest money. Our course is way below $1,000, by the way. And then they get the score they need and they move to the country of their dreams, get the job of their dreams and get the course or get the um, salary that they deserve. So thank you very much for watching. Hope that you enjoyed that. To help you out a little bit, what I'd like to do is give you a free course. It's our fundamentals course, which will teach you the absolute essential principles of IELTS writing, speaking, reading, and listening. It's totally free. Just click below to get that and you can get instant access. If you need anything, feel free to get in touch with us. And my iPad is dropped, so let's check if that has broken or not, because that will cost me a lot of money. Thank you very much, guys. See you soon. Bye-bye.